Alright yo, what's good everyone, Nick Smith is back. Welcome to a new episode of the Indiana Pacers My Gem series. Now, you're what you're seeing these jerseys right now. These are the uh, away jerseys and I'm I'm liking the way I designed the jerseys a little bit. You know, I I tried to change it up um, from what the Indiana Pacers have in real life, but I also tried to keep the original Indiana way. You know, you know they, they make jerseys and they're all pretty similar. Um, but I tried to keep it that way. And look at this boy, Miles Turner. He threw it down right there. But, you know, I want to thank you guys. Because when I... When I look at that block right there by Hassan Whiteside. First of all, that was insane. But when I'm not making videos, you guys are still showing so much love and support for, you know, every video that I make when I do post. And just with it, when I don't post, you guys still show support on, you know, Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, like even past videos that I've made. It's crazy to see all the support that you guys show. And so I really just want to take my time and thank you guys. Because um, it does mean a lot to me, man. It means a lot to me when you guys leave likes and comment and subscribe. It's it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. And to have a following of, you know, 38,000, that's, that's dope. Like, not many people can say that. But, uh, yeah. Denied. Let's get back on track. Look at Check the Yellow game that block right there. And then I find him right there. Well, I tried to at least. But I find him. Do I? Yeah, I do. He's at the three-point line. This boy can't shoot three threes, but I don't know, man. He gets the uh, the tough layup right there. But all I'm trying to say is we're down five. Shot clock winding down. Who's clutch? You know who is clutch. It's Miles Turner, baby. That's not even Miles Turner. But I'm also going to say that CJ Miles is clutch as well. <laughs> I messed that one up bad, but I'm going to leave it in there because CJ Miles, he's pretty clutch. But we're up against the Cavs, and the Cleveland Cavaliers... Uh, well, they went on to win the NBA championship. Bennett just got absolutely posterized right there by Hassan Whiteside. Oh my goodness. And Hassan's not done. Another one. But, what I'm trying to say is that the Cleveland Cavaliers, in last season, they ended up winning the NBA Finals and beating out the Houston Rockets. And, uh, yeah. They won the NBA championship. So, they're coming off in this year and they're looking pretty good. But... I want some redemption, alright, because they beat us 4-1 in the third round matchup when I faced them. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know what, we went into free agency and the draft and we acquired some new talent to join Indiana. So now with this new talent, we got to implement it and do some work. Demar's just a beast, all I'm going to say is Demar's a beast, but yeah, we acquired new talent in free agency, getting obviously... Um, Hassan Whiteside and DeMar DeRozan and on draft night we acquired Eric Bledsoe and we also acquired Shaq Diallo so I mean the team is a whole ton better but in saying that it's definitely not perfect all right this team is definitely not perfect and changes I guess they need to be made all right they need to be made so what I want you guys to do right now first of all if you guys want to see the next episode give this video a big thumbs up Oh my goodness, are you freaking kidding me? Did you just see that slam right there by PJ? Oh my goodness. That was in, that was probably one of the craziest slams I've ever done in this game. But I want you guys to comment down below a player that you would like me to trade on this team and a player that you would like me to keep. Shot clock winding down, the boy, the old man gets that to go. That was a nice play by Jermaine O'Neal. Former Indiana Pacer guy, we bring him back. And you know, we're playing well. We're shooting 61%, 6 blocks, 14 assists, 15 rebounds. All the stats are better than the Cavs, and it's still a goddamn tied game. I mean, we're playing better than the Cavs, and it's still a tied game. I mean, that's just insane. That just shows you that the Cleveland Cavaliers are, they're on another level. Oh my goodness. Check the yellow, gets an absolute post right there, and so does Damar DeRozan. Woo! Throw it down, boy. That was beautiful right there. You see, you, Anderson Vergia, all right? You're a cool dude. Not really, but you can't guard DeMar DeRozan right now. And you can't guard Hassan <laughs> Whiteside either, okay? You can just guard no one. Hassan's just a beast, all right? He's a beast on defense. He's a beast on offense. He's a beast all round, all right? Hassan's a beast. Talking about beast. Paul George gets the M1 right there. Look at these cinematics right there. Look at that. Look at the editing I go through for you guys right there. I, I'm trying to make this a whole ton 
better editing in 2016. I'm trying to make my videos a whole time better in terms of editing, in terms of commentary, and I'm I'm gonna acquire well not acquire, it's not a my GM series, but I'm gonna buy a new Elgato HD60 very very soon so you guys can see even better quality videos. The boy check the yellow, the rook check the yellow. I'm telling you guys, pick him up in my GM, alright? If you my GM series, pick him up. He is such he he's awesome. Like he plays defense, he gets dunks on offense, he he hustles, man. He's he get and ones, alright? Check Tiello is a freaking monster. Not only that, he plays Denied. defense. Get that out of here. Check says not in my house, boy. You ain't gonna get that. And then Paul George goes all the way with the tough layout. Right now it's a pretty close game. One point game, two minutes left in this game. I'm trying to play that defense, but look at Anthony Bennett. Whoo! The former number one draft pick returns to Cleveland, and I'm, I'm saying that he's putting in work. <laughs> I'm actually saying that. I never thought I'd say that, but I'm saying Anthony Bennett, you heard me correctly, Anthony Bennett is putting in work, and do you see Lance Stevenson posterize, who was it? I think it was Julius Randle the other day. Well, he just posterized me right there. Former Indiana Pacer guy, now on the Cleveland Cavaliers, he's actually pretty good. Talking about Paul Millsap. Atlanta Hawks, they got beat by the Miami Heat the other day. You know, I'm pretty happy about that because as a Heat fan, we got we got to win games like that. We've got to beat out, you know, teams like uh, the Atlanta Hawks, even though they're looking to trade Jeff Teague. Um, but that's 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 all for another episode, all right? I can talk about some Jeff Teague rumors and even some other trade rumors in a future My GM episode. But as you can see, Game's not looking too good. We let the Cleveland Cavaliers just do work. I'm, I'm running a play right there. And it turns out, you know, when you run plays in this game, I, I seem to make a lot more shots. So I'm going to look to run a whole ton more plays. But um, even when I don't run plays, to be honest, I can jack them up. And I'll make some of them, all right? Especially just because I've got the team to do it, all right? I got Bledsoe, he can shoot. I got Paul George, he can shoot. I got CJ Miles, he can shoot. I got a whole bunch of shooters. And then I got my, you know, attacking players. This right, this guy right here, Eric Bledsoe and Demar Rose, and they can attack the ring. But all I'm trying to say is, you know, we we got beat out, all right? And we got beat out by the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we just can't get over the hump of facing these guys. Like it's you, you, you know, like last year, I, I posted videos, right? I would post videos of me winning and me losing. Only problem is. We didn't really lose too many games. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. We didn't lose too many games. But if we lose another game, I mean, I yeah, it, I understand. It's the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're a great team, all right? But if we lose another game, then changes need to be made. Because we acquired DeRozan Whiteside to team up with Paul George and Eric Bledsoe. And if we're not beating out teams like Cleveland, then what are we doing, all right? So, yeah, I want you guys right now to comment down below a player to trade from this, from this, you know, roster or, you know, multiple players. You guys can throw in Eric Bledsoe, Hassan White, Santa Mar, Paul George, anyone. Not Paul George, he's staying on this team, but you can throw in anyone. And also comment down below a player that I should get. By the way, right here, I was simulating um, just a few games because I wanted to face up against the Pelicans and then the boy Hassan White so gets injured. Jermaine O'Neal's our backup center right now. Are you serious right now? But uh, yeah, I'm I'm editing, um, not editing. I'm just you know simulating all these games and uh, adjusting the lineup and doing all this stuff, adjusting training and and things of that nature. Just making sure this team is all good. But then we go down without Miles Turner. So now we don't have we don't have Hassan Whiteside, our center, or or um, uh, what's his name, Miles Turner at power forward. So we are going into the next game, and this is going to be a challenge. We're going into the next game up against Anthony freaking Davis without Hassan or, um, or Pineapple Head. And uh, yeah, we've got the old man Jermaine O'Neal and Sheck Diallo have to put in that work up against Anthony Davis. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, leave a like. I'm out. Peace.